Okay, so here we are with episode four of Shadow and Bone. That um, we'll see how I think the story is like like uh, last episode started to really get going, and now that everyone already knows that Alina is the Sun Summoner and she has the powers, she just needs to control them. I think we can start like seeing more her training more than what we've seen already. The, the first, the last episode was a little bit of a of a let's see where she is training wise, power wise. She, the poor girl, was going through a little bit of a of a I'm not gonna say midlife crisis because I think she's still a teenager. I don't, don't know exactly how old she is. She can't be more than 18 or 20. Let's say she can't be more than 20. She's having a little bit of a nervous breakdown, I guess. She's all by herself and she has all these powers and they're treating her differently, but there's also they're still being disrespectful and and shady towards her and stuff like that. And she just has the world on her shoulders, like literally, and she doesn't know how to handle it and doesn't have anyone to support her the way she wants to. So, like, yeah, like they're, they're, she has people around her that have been treating her nicely, but it's not the same. Obviously, she just wants math, basically, <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say. And then we have the crows, which I just found out that the heist team is like they, those are the characters that are from the six of crows. Or at least some of them. I don't know if all of them. So that's how that's how they're connecting the story. So I guess maybe their story is completely new. Like, and that's how they're converging them. Not entirely sure. Because I, I didn't read much. I just like was reading that it was like about some other mystery that has nothing to do with what we currently have. It might come up later in the second season or something like that. Second, third, I don't know. But uh yeah, that's they're the crows. So I finally know. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if in this episode we will see the meet or how they're planning to enter the little palace without Nina, who is now captured by the Druskele. I think that's what they're called. I know I know they have another name with like an F, but but this one's the one that sounds the easiest for me to say. And I might still be saying it wrong. <sighs> All right, but yes, a lot of good stuff are coming up. So let's just start watching it. All right, really so Mal is on the move. Weeks gone and still no word from you. Okay, so yeah, so this maybe they are now on the same time, like. I petitioned the lieutenant to write to the little palace on my behalf. Before he dismissed me, he asked. What is she to you anyway? Hmm. And I wasn't sure oh. how to answer. So Alina also has like a scar like he does. I wonder yeah. if they like they like a pact or something like that. Like a, you know, like a blood pact. And that's why they both have it, or if it's just a bad memory for both of them. Cushion. Every unit north of Chernest is tasked with volunteering a tracking party. General Kirigan is offering a visit all the way <laughs> to the little palace. The one who can find Made for you, Mal. Morisova's stag. <laughs> the stag? And there it was. I the one that Alina has seen. Yeah. There's a good chance we can crack on. Now that we're three days' travel from the capital, the next player is finding a way inside the little palace. Turns out the Kabir's archives house the little palace blueprints. But they're kept under lock and key. Far from the prying eyes of the masses. I see a heist. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, very yes. What does that mean? Oh, time for a heist. Yes. What do you see? Someone's version of me. Or perhaps the real you has finally emerged. I'm just not sure I understand where this road leads. I do know how you feel, Miss Rockham. When I was a boy, I used to run away and hide here. Once I realized that I was a descendant of the most hated Grisha in Ravka. Mm. I'd come here, make a wish in the fountain. Same wish, over and over again. And I could be anyone else. Yeah, it must be really hard. Yeah, like people fear him. But like that means that everyone just fears him and they probably don't want to be anywhere near him, really. This is his story. Or he has to have this persona of no, always being strong. Pictures. Of course. I have devoted my life I'm doing the great sin of my forebearer. And I've never seen as the solution. Only as a reminder of the problem. 
That's why you look at me like that. I'm your solution. I should be right by your side. You and I are going to change the world. Alina. Hands out. Palms face each other. Light. <laughs> Ow! Again. Stop it! Is that really helping? Oh, yes, it is. Not enough. Hmm? Not nearly enough. Lady, I don't think One she time, wants with I like pessimism and like bringing her down. It worked. It really did. Like she is the sun. Once Mal gets here, it will be better. He see me through everything. You'll know the right thing to say to get me through this. Hopefully. You've got a lot to talk about. Mal? Oh? Is he handsome? He's very handsome, isn't he? I can tell by the way you said his name. It's not like that. Are you sure? When is this strapping lad coming? <laughs> I've invited him, so any day now. I'm assuming her letters are not leaving the palace at all. I'm starting to have a feeling that she really is a prisoner there. The lighting valves are on the second floor. I'll take my cue once I see the lights go out. And then follow your trail straight to the blueprints. The archivist has to pull them a number of times a day. So we can't steal them without I know something is up. So, make a copy. But careful. Oh. If you're heavy-handed, you'll bleed the ink. I know what I'm doing. Wow. That's really cool. <gasps> oh, no. They said that she needed to get out the same way as she went in. <laughs> oh, they use it. The phone. The, the, the clock noise. That's smart. Tell me, have you worked with a heart render by the name of Nina Zenick? Once, yes. She's one of the best in the second act. Quite. Nina's been on a priority mission for me. She's not reported in. If she's alive, she may need our help. Knowing Nina, sir, she's very much alive. I don't need your conjecture, but you Interesting. So Nina is friends, or like, close to, or high rank on Kirigan's army, but she's also the traitor. She brought you food. But I'm a fool. You want something from me? Our witches so used to deceit, they can't accept their manners. Manners? Yeah. Manners. You talk of manners when you've been chained starving. I'm trying to feed you. Why? Because fans you interesting. What do they teach you? Aside from the fact that they were evil and should be burned at the stake. But you kill us every chance you get. Because you want Orisha dead. You're not here to change your mind on anything. Only to make yourself feel better about sending me to my death. She is speaking the truth. This is Marco. Marco is the leader of the traveling troupe known as yeah. the Pondracon players. Yeah, you go, you go in as entertainer. Uh, they have been invited to perform in this year's Winter Fate. A lifelong dream. But they lost their star performer due to an unfortunate freak accident. Oh, they so he made it happen. Made of so Look at you, conductor. To replace their star performer. And as Kizadam's premier talent manager, I had an idea. <laughs> Ines. <laughs> but also, like, that's a lot of trust Ines has on Jasper. <laughs> Interesting that they're connecting they like be taking anger and like sad feelings, oh. negative feelings with her power. And I don't think that's right. What is happening here? Where are we? Oh, she she went back. It's the orphanage. Flashback. You stand watch. We can't hide forever. We can run together. 
together. What day is this? The day the testers came. Thought you could hide. Well, you're wrong. So they did test him? We cannot test him like this. His injury makes it impossible. Mm. You stay with me then, boy. This will prick. Just breathe. But it's interesting that they just will test now. I was tested. Like, I know that they say they can't do it now, but like, he could have been. I agree, Jeff. But it wouldn't show if I was already in pain. So I'm protecting myself. She is not Grisha. How many more Ravkin children need to be orphaned to this war because you are afraid to face the truth? Wow. Girl. Big lady. Alexander. I have been fighting this war alone for so long. I have buried so many. He's losing something. control. I see the darkness around them. Oh! Try to ease his pain. She gets activated. See, I think I think her power works more with positive. I mean, yeah, thoughts because trying to ease his pain is a positive thought, not the pain itself. Dude, do you really believe in your system even though like everyone's basically telling you that it's a sham? She feels abandoned by her mouth. That'll probably get her closer to Alexander. Oh! Go. Now the work begins. What's happening behind him? Are his friends not good? What is it? <gasps> what? Is that his friend? Like the, the one of the two, like they just like. Oh no, it's just feel like that. Okay. Okay. I thought for a second that the friends were killing each other and not. I was just like. Heartbroken. Nope, that's not all of them. Who is that? But she got and just mouth is gone. Hey, you trying to tell me that he he died? Basic. Well, the quartermaster, aren't you? Hmm. So he's in the break with her. They really did everything to be with each other. It is quite sad that now they both believe they've been abandoned by each other. Hey, Madge. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. So they are different, like, they just have similar scars but they're from different events, but they're to try to save each other. Erase it. Oh. No, he's like dying. Oh, and the friend is dying. <gasps> Does that mean that he, he might be Grisha? Like, I don't know why my mind just went that he was just never tested. So maybe he's also like a healer or something like, like that. Like, maybe he can heal himself. And okay. He looks very. He looks damaged. Or like her, it's better work. Oh, his friends are dead. I loved his friends. They were just so nice. Is the stag showing up? Yeah. It's about that time, the stag. You could have shown earlier. I don't know what you could have done, but maybe these people would be like. Alina, if you get this letter, know that when I told you about True North, I was talking about you. Mm -hmm. You are my true north. So same thing she said last. And I can see my way to you now. 
Okay, that was another really good episode. This one focused on Mal and Alina's connection and love for each other. I do think it's romantic. <laughs> no, I, th- I do think it's very cute, but like definitely like family love, at le- like at least. But I do think it's romantic. And it's so sad to see how they both think that they've been abandoned by, like, by each other. Even though I, I'm pretty sure if that, well, or I believe that Alina's letters are not leaving the palace. They're not being, um, they're not being delivered anywhere. And then I'm assuming that Mal's letters are not being given to her. Period. Because. Yeah, like I'm just, I think they're isolating her on purpose to separate her as much as possible from the, from his, her connections with the first army. And have be able to like manipulate her more because yeah, I also started feeling a little bit like of like chemistry, obviously between her and Kierigan or Alexander or whatever, because they're both in a similar situation. But I also start like in that relationship, it's started to also feel a little bit of, like him might he might be trying to manipulate her as well. Like I don't know if he's as sincere, and maybe it's because he's such a like a like a constantly dark, mysterious character that he can't sh- like. He's supposed to like he doesn't really know how to show his emotions as much. Even though I do think he's pretty, like, like every time he tells her that he's with her, her like he means that and stuff like that. I do think that he might have like an underlying. But like a desire so big to fix this problem with the fold and to be more accepted that he's willing to manipulate Alina in like in his own way. So that's why I think it's a little bit more that like I, like I think that that's he's he's a little bit more dark. <laughs> I don't want to say dark, but he's a little bit definitely not. He doesn't have all the best intentions. I think. And it's nothing against the, like that he has against Alina and specifically or anything like that. Or I just think that he has this dream, has this wish, and he he finally found the solution. It's like she said, like she's the solution and he's going to make that happen. However, he, he whatever he needs to do, he's going to make that happen. So we'll see. We'll see if this isolation and this sadness that that Alina has with Formal Formal like is going to get her closer to Alexander Kerrigan Alexander he said Alexander in this episode so I guess we'll go that way but um so yeah I do find it interesting I don't know I don't know if we're because normally in books they're normally like kind of I feel that they they want you to root or like the main couple is always the one where the guy is a little bit darker because she's going to change him. And I do think that she will change him. I don't necessarily know if he is the main love interest because it's a pretty compelling argument on the other side. I do like the whole history of and being there for each other and doing everything for each other that the other two have going on. I would like it. I mean, obviously right now, I'm not going to lie. I do feel the connection more like the chemistry, I feel, more between Kierigan and Alina. But that's, I think, mainly because most of the Mal and Alina's scenes are flashbacks. So they're so young so and they're not the actors. So they were cute in the, the couple of scenes in the first episode, but they haven't actually been together on screen much, like the actual actors right now. So I would have to see more. Once they're finally reunited, I really hope they are at some point. I don't know if it's at the Little Palace. I don't know if something happens that Alina leaves. She finally started using her powers better, which... Um, I was surprised because I do think that she started to get a little bit more control after she accepted that she was alone, kind of, or that Mal was not going to come for her. So maybe it's the independence that gave, that gave her her powers. But I like to think that she's going to be able to expand her powers more with positive uh, feelings and stuff like that. Like I said, I, do, I think that she was able to help Alexander because she wanted to ease his pain and so more positive thoughts in that in that sense just because i think of you think of sun it's it's the light it's bright it's more for me it's the positive side of the darkness so 
that's why I think that maybe the the training that they're giving her might not be the best, but you never know. She's probably gonna help. She's probably gonna be able to to learn everything she needs to. And I might just be thinking too into like making too much into of it. Like I don't know, thinking too much about it. Kind of like with me and the times. I do. I'm still not entirely sure. I mean. It's just that it doesn't feel like Alina has been that long in the palace. But in this episode, they do make it seem a little bit that it's been a couple of days, at least. So maybe, yeah, they're all in the same time. And then we have, now we have the Crows, the heist team. They did a heist that was pretty fun, but it was pretty easy. But that was like their main thing. But yeah, they had a big episode last episode, I think. So they made sense that this one focused more on Mal, who we didn't really see in episode three. So what else do we have here? Yeah. Oh, and then the whole Nina thing. It's interesting that she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to be a traitor, which I. But she technically is a traitor to the Grisha. So or like to the second army, more like it. And that's what it is, right? Like she's obviously like she could be a tra- like she could just like get people out of little palace or like get people in, but like I don't think she would actually let people hurt them like hurt the Grisha or anything like that. I do think that she at least, well, she at least knows Alexander or like it's like in a high rank in this military because uh, yeah, the way they talked about it, she has to be like a very close person to him or like, yeah, like high general, or, well, maybe not general, but high commander or whatever, whatever they're called here. So it's it is interesting that you have this other dude now who is very naive, <laughs> clearly the guy that's that um, that has her capture in this boat and that thinks that they're really going to go on trial when like, on trial for what? If she hasn't, like they found her and she was in her room, like they just captured her while, while she was doing nothing. Like, so there was like no real point. Like they don't have evidence or, of anything. Like they never have evidence, of, evidence, I'm assuming, but they all get, end up getting killed. So like what justice system do you think your people have, dude? Like, what are you thinking? So it'll be interesting. I'm assuming that he's going to be the one that saves her. I don't know if he cares about the other two girls because he didn't try to feed the other girls, but, <laughs> but he'll definitely be the one to save her. And most likely it'll be now, like soon, like the next episode, because the storm is coming and she'll probably be able to help during the storm or something like that. They'll be able to work together. I don't know, but I think that's where that's going. Um, I'll be excited to see how that goes back to the main story, like maybe go back to the whole, well, they don't need her anymore, anymore to try to enter the little palace, but she is, again, she is part of the military so they'll probably that's how they'll bring her back to the story and like put her more into the main arc but yeah this was another fun episode i quite enjoyed the pacing of the show well and this was my reaction to episode four i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode what you're thinking of the story in general and if you're obviously if you're a book reader please don't spoil it but like i'm a uh, I'm pretty sure that there are different stuff. So some out of the different things, like what have you liked the change? Like what changes have you liked that have worked for you and stuff like that? Because they did combine this two book series. So I don't know. Let me know a little bit more about the world or something like that of the books, but without any big spoilers or so. But yeah. Um, And yeah, you can find me all over social media. Uh, the All the information is in the description below. I also have a Patreon guys that if i am more advanced on my patreon like with the reactions so if you guys want to see more i'm a bins so by the time this comes out oh probably the last episode is already out on if it's not the last episode episode seven is already out on my patreon so if you want to see all of those all of my reactions to these episodes already like now then go uh, to the link in the description below. There's all the information about my Patreon. But if you just want to stay on YouTube, then just like, please subscribe. So uh, so you don't miss any of my new reactions about this show or other shows that I'm doing or music that I'm doing. Or any of the videos that I'm doing, period. And like this video if you enjoyed watching the show with me. But yeah, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>